Hi everybody, it's spring with soaps and suds and such and today I'm still using my soap dough and uh, I'm making some flowers and I thought I would do a little video um, to show how I do some of my flowers and I've got um, over here I've got some petals these are the bigger ones if you can see and uh, then right here I've been hand doing some little petals and um, I've got my little center ready for these right here so I am making these right now and um, the way that I do those is just by hand I kind of use my thumb to help me kind of shape it a little bit um, but like I said in one of my other videos you can make all kinds of flowers you just got to sit down and play with the the dough just like you when you were a kid and you played with uh, play-doh or modeling clay and the way I'm doing them they're not going to be perfect they're not all going to be the same because I am just you know doing them by hand now if I were using cutters you know I could get them all the same but I'm not um, now I have got my piping tips but I, I'm not using them for as far as cutting them out now sorry about that my battery went dead and I had to fix it okay now back to this pedal um, I've made like little, if you can see them, little lines, so to speak. You can take a butter knife or whatever. I've been using the tip of this because, you know, they're really sharp. And I'm just kind of just making like little veins of the leaves. And then I just kind of go like that with it. Just, just a little something to look like veins on your leaves but uh, you can leave them plain if you want to you don't have to do it or your petals not leaves what am I talking about okay then I'm going to do another one let's see how many I get an idea here yeah I'll only need another one And a lot of people's been asking me about this recipe, and this is one that I spent oh countless hours to get this, you know, kind of where I want it. You know, will I say it's perfect? No. Will I say that's exactly where I want it? No. But you know, it's enough where I can do what I need to do. But uh, no, I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to give this recipe out. Um, but I am going to, I'm thinking about, I'm not going to say for sure, but I'm thinking about trying to make another one, formulate another one, and possibly give it out like I give lots of other recipes out on my YouTube channel. And, uh, I'm still working on a recipe for a pine tar soap to give out because I did have a uh, subscriber that's, you know, ha was having problems with actually making pine tar soap and my recipe that I use now I won't give out but I'm working, still working on that recipe and um, I just haven't got it where I want it so I will keep, you know, till I get it where I want it to be I won't even try posting it. I'm not going to just do one and post it, a recipe, without, you know, knowing that's what I want it to be at, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't mind sharing recipes, but certain ones I, I, I don't share. Just like everybody else, you've got your certain recipes that you make for, you know, 
your company or that's the same way kind of that I do. I've got certain ones I don't mind sharing one bit and I'll, you know, like I said about creams in the other video, I'm going to be making some creams and some lotions and I will be giving out the recipe because I'm doing them, you know, with samples. Usually when I do something with samples, just like my sample of rose hip oil that came from Levin Rose, I shared that recipe. And, um, that was my lotion, rose, uh, rosebud lotion. And, you know, I'll share the recipe with about these samples also. And then if I end up, you know, loving the cream, I will tweak the recipe to make it, you know, the way, exactly the way I want it. And, you know, not exactly like the one that I give away, the recipe. I like making recipes for soap and creams and lotions and salves and whatnot. And I need to uh, do some liniments. I've had people wanting them, but haven't got them done yet. That one's a little bit bigger than what I need. Still a little bit bigger, but I'm about tempted to leave it the way it is. You got a message on Facebook. Um, I'll check it whenever I get on Facebook. Kenny, right now I'm doing a video I'm trying to make these flowers. Okay. But yeah, I will check it. Probably about the baby shower, mm -hmm. but we uh, figured that out now. And this side has a load of yellow on it. You can see that. This side has more white. Okay, I think I'm just going to leave that alone where I've got it. Well, I don't know, it still looks pretty big compared to the other ones. Sometimes I just roll it under like that. It might be a little thicker, but if I don't want to have to pinch it off, I'll just roll it under a little bit, like so. Okay, now I'm going to put a few little what I'll call veins and I'll just kind of take it and just no particular way I just go down through it like that and then do my fingers on it so they're not too deep okay now we've got our center here Now I'm going to take a little dab of water, I've got my water, and I am using distilled water. That's what I always use for everything whenever I'm making things also. And I'm just kind of putting that in there like so with water. Video and baby. Well, Daddy's gonna get me. Okay. So, me want some bacon eggs that, from Daddy's and yeah. the ice cream. 
Can you get down if you can put this on Daddy's, on Jesse's? Okay. Why did I call him Daddy? Jesse. It was an accident because you're thinking of your dad. Yeah, it's okay. Now, if you can see how I'm doing this, I'm just basically using water to fuse. See? To fuse them together. That's all I'm doing. Just simply using water to fuse them together or adhere them together. I guess that's a better word. And I don't think I'm going to actually need that other big old pedal. So, I'm probably not going to need it. So I can use it for something else. And then I'll put a little bit right here on this side. And on this. Like I told in one of my other videos,